What is President Uhuru Kenyatta's game plan for 2022? That's the question which most Kenyans are currently asking. Because from all indications, President Uhuru Kenyatta is not going to support his deputy, William Samoy Ruto, for the presidency in 2022. And the good thing the deputy president has realized this and is now charting his own political path without President Uhuru Kenyatta in the equation. And after the handshake with Raila Molo Dinga in 2018, majority of Raila supporters believed that President Uhuru Kenyatta was finally going to endorse or support Raila Molo Dinga for the presidency in 2022. They believed that Raila Dinga had actually won the previous elections and he was not sworn in because of the system. And by the president supporting him, they believed that Raila Dinga finally had the key to the system. But from all indications, it is now clear that President Uru Kenyatta has a different idea. The president has not decided on who he wants to support for the presidency. There is Raila Molo Dinga, there is Gideon Moy, and then there is Musalia Mudavadi. And also don't even rule out the possibility of Fred Matiang or even Kalonzo Musioka. But in the past few weeks, something has been happening. During Musalia Mudavadi's mother's funeral in Mululu, Johnson Sakaja said something which is significant, politically speaking. Johnson Sakaja is not your ordinary politician. Johnson Sakaja is a former chairperson of TNA party. TNA is the party which formed government in 2013. He was the national chairman of that party. Before that, President Ru Kenyatta reached out to Sakaja to help him craft a team for his 2013 presidential bid. So Sakaja is not an ordinary Kenyan. And you all remember that after the last election, Sakaja has tried to, be, to remain on the side of President Ru Kenyatta. But in, at Malulu, during the funeral service of Musalia Muravadi's mother, this is what Johnson Sakaja said. I want to concur with what my colleagues have said. Because this country is at a moment. Mwishima Musali ya jana niliambia watu wa hapa, watu wa nimbani. Ya kwamba kwa mdamrefu, wamekua wakili somea, Your Excellency Uru Kenyatta. Because Your Excellency have been working with you. Na ulimichukua nikiwa kijana mchanga, you trusted me even to be chairman wa TNA. Na miaka ishirini na saba. Wakanulisa sasa wewe, imekuwaji hausaidi hata kosa wako, yo uncle. Ulintoa kwa President Kibaki, nikafanya na wewe. And I told them one thing, because this is a conversation we had. Ya kuwa mbapia kwa Bibilia, munajua Yusuf, Yusuf waliuzu wananguzaki. Na wakati kulikuwa na nja, na ukami, siya likuwa muuzu wa misri, wakaenda misri, Na yendo waka wakua. Your Excellency, I told Honorable Musalia Mudavati that because of how far you have taken me, in fact I don't understand, mutu wa meka msiri unachukua kijana wa 20 something to ongoza chama. Mi amoni 35, I can't even do that. Until 2022, contract yangu iko na uhuru kenyata. Lakini transfer window inanza kuhia. Na nakuoma kwa yu transfer window ha? Hile vitu umenifunza ndogo ndogo ya kuunda chama, kushinda kura ha? Kupanga, wabunge Hizo mbinu Kufunga bao Ha? Nikae na Musali ya Mudafati Kufanya hivyo And Musali I promise you And not because you are here Not because you are family This country is at a moment that we need hope The narrative of doom Must be replaced by the narrative of hope The narrative of division Must be replaced by a narrative of unity Now it's clear Sakaja discussed the issue of Musalia Mudavadi with the President Uhuru Mugekinyata. And that's not a big deal. 
Now there's this other gentleman called Francis Atuli, Ndugu Francis Atuli. Atuli is also not an ordinary Kenyan. And last year, Atuli was very busy organizing meetings at his residence in Kajiado. And then towards the end of last year, Francis Atuli organized, I mean attended a funeral service together with Musalia Mudavadi. And this is what Atuli said. <laughs> Kule kwangu, nataka msikize sana waduya. Kule kwangu kajiado, mkutano ulikuwa huko ni mkutano wa strategy. Hau kukua mkutano wa pombe, hau mkutano wa kupanga mikakati ya waduya. Na hau kukua mkutano wa mambo mengine. Na kila mara mkinisikiza kuwa naambia njini, musali ya tulimuteua mwaka wa elefu mbili kumina sita. Kitu tunataka tu kumfanyia kidogo ni panel meeting na achukue line. Na asichelewe na wakati ni sasa. From that moment up to now I've never seen a truly hosting those strategy meeting at his Kajiado home. So there's something which is happening. And again yesterday Ayub Savula, who is a very close ally of Muslim Rabadi, made certain revelations. And those revelations by Ayub Savula is the subject of this video today. But before you go into all those details, if you're watching this video for the first time, please, I want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. Now, let us get back to the main issue. Ayub Savula leaked details of their meeting with President Uhuru Mwage Kenyatta. I know probably he might have been carried away, but this is what Ayub Savula said. As ANC, we have engaged the president. We had a meeting with him and we have had several meetings with him. The president is willing to support Honorable Musalia Mudavadi as a compromise candidate to become the sixth president of the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you. That one I can talk with authority. I've, I've sat in that, those meetings. Uhuru has accepted to support Musalia and he has given Musalia conditions. Move across the country, gain support, then I'll support you. We are taking advantage of the war that Ruto is fighting the president to Pitya Katikati Pale ill we can go to the state house. We are taking advantage of that war so that we can front Musalia to take that position that is vacant now because Uhuru needs advice on how to salvage the economy. Uhuru does not need wars. Uhuru needs advice on how the small disbursement on projects that can be realigned from bigger projects we go to economy that is facing man, Manainji. We are also negotiating with Reila Amolo Dinga. We are asking in Baba the only way for this economy to be revived the only compromise candidate is Musalia Mudavadi. That is the only guy who can salvage this economy. And he has history. He salvaged this country when you are facing the, 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 the Golden Bug scandal. Musalia has been on the forefront of fighting for the country's economy. He has even drafted as a party a motion in parliament, a bill actually in parliament, on debt restructuring and debt management authority that is being fronted by, by, by Honorable Bunyasi. So our meetings will continue and we are approaching Reila formally. Once Reila agrees, we will have finished all those stories. Akina Kalonzo have agreed. Mweshimo um, Moses Masika Wetangula from Bungoma has announced he's going to support Musalia for presidency. Yes. So Luya, we are solid and we are focused on the bigger seat. Bigger seat. And very soon, from all these constituencies in Western, we are going to host delegation. Delegation from Lugari to Mululu, to Musalia's residence to give him support that uh, we are supporting you for pre presidency. Yes, yes, yes. From Wisero, another delegation to Musalia's Mululu home. home. Mm. We are consolidating the lawyers and the working arrangement we have is that Musalia will go outside Western. Savula, uh, Mweshimo Wetangula will remain in Western to ensure that we are campaigning for Musalia Muda. Lakini Yosiri ni mawatangazia sin Muzuri? Uhuru wa mkubali kusupport Musa? Musalia. 
hiyo ndio tunataka alafu uhuru ametuambia tubombeleze Raila Raila kuba what can you pick from that statement by Ayub Sabula is Ayub Sabula being reckless with the classified information or is Ayub Sabula just trying to police the residents of Matungu now before we go into all those let me repeat something which I've been saying here severally that around president Uru Kenyatta there are four camps there's the camp that wants Raila Odinga then there's the camp that wants Musalia Mudavadi and there's the camp that wants still believes William Ruto and there's, there's another camp which wants a compromise candidate Musalia Mudavadi falls both within the compromise candidate and that group which supports Musalia Mudavadi so I'm sure that whatever Ayub Savula stated has some weight the people who are pushing for Muslim Davadi around the president have always had only two issues with Muslim Davadi. The first issue they've had with Muslim Davadi is his influence is in Western Kenya, especially the popularity. Muslim Davadi has been unable for a long time to take charge of Western Kenya regional politics. That's the truth. So they have they've been having issues with that. So they asked uh, they asked some point they asked uh, Muslim Davadi to go out of there and look for vote. Then the second issue they've always had with Muslim Dabadi is the issue of seriousness. Is Muslim Dabadi serious with his 2022 presidential bid? That's another issue they've had for a long time with Musalia Mudavadi. So when uh, Ayub Sabula made those statement, I listened very keenly. Because in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence. I listened very keenly and I thought to myself, what message was Ayub Sabula trying to send outside there in my view Ayub Savula message is intended to achieve four things number one it is intended for the Matungu by election in 2017 just as Murunga won the Matungu by elections on an ANC ticket then immediately these guys shifted to Tim Tangatanga of course because he was with uh, William Ruto during that time at youth for Kano. So he shifted. But Musalem Davadi is not keen on retaining this seat. There is no way you can say that Musalem Davadi is the leader of the Western Kenya region or the, the, the Luya leader, yet he cannot deliver the Matungu by election. So my thinking is that Ayub Savula was trying to tell the people of Matungu that the stakes are just so high in this Matunga election. So you need to deliver this to Musalia Mudavadi. Then after delivering it to Musalia Mudavadi, then Musalia Mudavadi can be endorsed by Williams, I mean by President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta for the presidency in 2022. And I'm sure it's going to work in their favor. There are people who will swallow whatever he's telling them as the gospel truth so that they can send Mudavadi now outside there. So I think it's meant for the Matungu by election. Number two, Ayub Savula is trying to use or to, to invoke the fact that the president told Musalia Mudavadi to go outside there and, and get votes and, and uh, established himself as a serious presidential candidate to rally lawyers around Musalia Mudavadi. That's the truth. Are lawyers fully behind Musalia Mudavadi? I don't think so. But Musalia Mudavadi has been trying so hard to emerge as the lawyer leader. Remember, Francis Dooley was very clear that in was it in 2016, 2016, he installed Musalim Davadi as the lawyer leader. And up to now, nobody else has ever been installed. So which means Musalim Davadi still remains the lawyer leader. But is it the truth if you go to the ground? Kwa ground vitu ni different. You go to Bosia, Raila Odinga is controlling Bosia. Even Kamega, there's, there's that question that who should actually be the leader there? Is it Raila? Is it Musalim Davadi? You go to Vihiga, the governor himself is a member of ODM party, was elected on, a, on an ODM party, several MPs there and even MCS. You go to Bungoma, Moses Wetangula Ford Kenya is controlling. So where is Musalim Davadi's factor? So the mere fact that uh, President Ru Kenyatta is thinking of uh, supporting Musalim Davadi can be used by people like Ayub Savola to rally the lawyers around the, the candidature of Musalia Mudavadi. Number three, 
I think it also now includes Musalia Mudavadi in Uru Kenyatta's succession politics. So if Uru Kenyatta wants to succeed, wants someone to succeed him in 2017, then that someone in 2022, then that someone was Raila Odinga. Then these guys have now included Musalia Mudavadi there. And of course, the other guys are also going to be there. So it's no longer Uru Kenyatta planning to endorse or to support Raila Odinga. So it means there's now a possibility of a contest. And I think in my video yesterday, or yesterday but one, I explained all these Musalia Mudavadi factors. I explained them. So you need to go and look for that video. But I think now what Ayub Savul has done is, is that he has now included Musalia Mudavadi as part of President Uhuru Kenyatta succession politics. He's saying that Uhuru told them, and he was very clear when he was stating this. Johnson Sakaja was also very clear when he was stating this. And lastly, I think it, it, it goes down to politics being local. Ayub Savula wants to be the governor for Kakamega. For Ayub Savula to succeed in Kakamega, it means his party must be very strong in Kakamega. And that party, his party, is the ANC party. What that would mean is that for ANC party to be strong, Musalem Davadi must contest for the presidency. By Musalem Davadi contesting for the presidency in 2002, 22, it would mean that people like Ayub Savula will now have a chance. So either Musalem Davadi is going to fail for them as long as they get what they want. Because in politics, that's what it is. It's all about interest. So I think... Ayub Savula is interested in his, his uh, 2022 presidential bid, I mean 2022 gubernatorial bid, and Matungu is one of the constituencies in Kakamega County where he intends to run, so it's going to be very easy for him if Matungu said will be electing an ANC candidate, party candidate, then after that, then they can use that as a bragging right in Kakamega County. I don't know what you think, but even personally, if you ask me, Uru Kenyatta is really in a dilemma. He doesn't know who to, to go for. Raila Odinga is being rejected in the larger Mount Kenya region. That's a fact. Musalem Davadi is acceptable. I, but then again, if you follow Uru Kenyatta and uh, Gideon Moy, you'll realize Gideon Moy has a free access to Uru Kenyatta's region in the larger West Mount Kenya region. So Gideon Moy is also being considered. You can add to the fact that Atwoli at one point stated that uh, Gideon Moy should pair up with Musalem Davadi. So let us wait and see how these events are actually going to unfold. unfold. But personally, I think what Ayub Savula stated is the thinking around people, is the thinking of the people around President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. If Raila Odinga will agree with Uhuru Kenyatta to support Musalem Davadi for the presidency in 2022, it will be game over for any other presidential candidate. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day and don't forget to subscribe.